Well, welcome to Going Up. I'm Luke Tidy, and joining me today is Anna Paquin and Stephen Moyer. Um, so welcome back to Ringling. Thank you. Uh, what brings you back? We are here to screen our film that Chasm Films, which is our little collective, uh, produced that Steve directed, uh, and I'm in, and we're going to be screening it here tonight. That's awesome. Well, thank you all for joining us. First off, I'd like to just ask, what is it like... Right now. <laughs> oh, snap! That was fast! <laughs> so, what is it like, um, for both of you, what's it like to be married to somebody who's like a part of the industry? Well, I've never been married to anyone that wasn't a part of the industry, so I have nothing <laughs> to compare to. Um, well, you know what, I think one of the things about, about you know, working together and being married is that we understand what each other's work lives and is, is like in a reality, and so there's no kind of like not understanding why someone is actually at work for 17 hours a day and the sort of peculiarities of it, I think, um, you know, it's easier. One of the things that I often get asked is, in fact, it's one of the most common questions that I've, I've ever had is, you know, what's it like working with your wife? Is it weird? And we met on set. We met working, working. and so, so the most the first and most normal thing for us is to be together. And in fact, you know, when we're working apart, I kind of miss it. And and that sounds probably codependent, really codependent and weird, but it's but kind it of true. For us. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, you've both been a part of like the the film industry and stuff for a really long time. Um, what's the biggest change that you've seen occur, like while you were like a part of it? For me. Um, when I was starting out uh, in the business, everybody always used to say to me, you know, how do I get into the business? How do I do it? And coming from England, you had to, it's very, very difficult to get into the business without going to college. It's very difficult to get that head start. And then when you leave college, then what happens? How do you get going from there? You know, how do you get those apprenticeships? How do you get going? And now, the, my, my stock answer to the question is, do you have an iPhone? Do you have an iPhone? Yes. <laughs> you can have iMovie, you can make a movie. There is absolutely no reason anymore why people can't make movies. You know, there's been some great iMovies, iPhone movies already made. It can be done. So sit down, write a script, and start shooting your friends. That is the difference in the business. You can do it like and this. And also, there used to be a sort of hierarchy of medium as far as where you did it. It was like, you know, so if there was film and then TV was a little lesser than, and, you know, theater was difficult and didn't pay you anything, but was really artistically fulfilling. And now I feel like the, the playing field has completely changed. And you have all these online streaming platforms and all these other ways for consuming content. And I think what's really exciting about that is that it has given more opportunities to more artists to just create and put their, their work out there in whatever way they can, be that from their iPhone or some like, gigantic movie. And there isn't a hierarchy anymore. It's just like good art is good art. And you know, interesting creative voices can be seen in so many more ways. And I think that's really a really a huge exciting change. One last thing, or yeah. last question, mm -hmm. um, I would say with for you, with uh, having been an actor and then also doing directing as well, how do you think acting has helped you to direct better? Great question. Um, you learn what you don't like. You learn notes from people that you don't like. There's a lot of directors out there who are great at setting the cameras, but they can't talk to actors. And oftentimes, one of the best directions is to say nothing. Because or the to actors, know when to say nothing. To know when to say nothing? Because <laughs> actors often know they just want to go again. So don't fill their head with too many ideas. Let them go again. Let them try and work out what it is. And then you can go in and color it. You know, and, and for, for me, I, when you've got a group of actors together, it's the most extraordinary thing. And sometimes by, by pulling back on somebody who maybe isn't doing as well as everyone else, but giving the people who are doing really lovely work all the notes, it makes the person who's struggling just come up a bit because they go, oh, I didn't get a note, I must be okay, and it gives them the confidence to move forward. Yeah. It's just working out what is the best way for everybody, and every single individual actor has a different need or a different desire or a different d way that they want to be spoken to, and it's, that's the beauty of it. Yeah.